The state wants you weak. Starting off strong. Again, I had writer's block. Uh, mostly because uh, I said a lot of stuff today. Did a lot of stuff today. Uh, but a lot of the stuff I said you can already catch on my appearance on the Why Libertarian podcast. Um, and also YouTube channel. They're, they're on the blockchain Plenty of options, right? I'll include links in the description. But I went over something in that because part of my Gray Man article, which is why they wanted to talk to me, um, I'll also include a link to that in the description. Uh, part of my Gray Man article was about how you need to be strong. And, well, <laughs> you need to be strong. Uh, but that's not just to be a gray man. For those of you who don't know, a gray man is somebody who tries to blend in. They try to, um, seem as normal and unassuming as possible, right? They want to be nobody, be unrecognizable in public, among the crowd. So, the whole point of being a gray man is that you were never there, even if you were. So, that's like the general vibe that you need to have if you're running from the state, right? But, um, that implies that you're runnable. That implies that you can, in fact, run. So, I, I, I had to go over something during the show. Because uh, he wanted to emphasize a little bit of that. Uh, like, he asked me basically, do you need to be fit to be a gray man? And I was like, yeah, you do. Um, so, my, my whole point in, in bringing that up in the article um, was that, like, the state would rather you not be able to defend yourself. They would rather you not be able... To fight for yourself. Um, and they certainly don't want you to be able to successfully evade them. Because then, if you do that, you prove that their iron grip of control isn't as metallic. That it's just as fleshy as any other. Right? They're mortals. These are mortals. They like to fancy themselves gods in their gilded temples that you can desecrate. <laughs> that you can violate the sanctity of these holy buildings that they're in by having a tantrum in it. <laughs> they like to think of themselves as better than you, bigger than you, more powerful than you, of a different breed, species, caste. And if you can prove that wrong, if you can prove that wrong, by being an example of a better organism, you already significantly win. Because you're proving to the common person that the common person has more power than the state would like them to believe. Sending a message to the editor of the site that I write for. Uh, pleasure doing counter econ with you they also don't like the counter economy they don't like the idea that you can do things uh without their permission and without needing to ask they don't like the idea of you doing things where they can't see it off their record books that that doesn't sit well with these people with these control freaks with these power hungry monsters these bloodthirsty demons it doesn't sit well with them. Um, so I'm going to read part of my article here. About that life. Perhaps the most underlooked aspect of any sort of operation such as these is the ability to tactically outmaneuver your enemies. And the fact is, fitness is drastically underwhelming in most communities that purport to support these actions and this mentality. I can't tell you how many times I've seen somebody who thinks they're very tactical but who couldn't run more than about 100 meters without getting winded. Even more, still don't have the upper body strength to climb ledges reliably, 
or do literally anything to maintain evasion and cover under pressure. One of the key elements here is recognizing that you're not gray yet. In order to get to the position where you might someday need to use these skills, it might behoove you to be in the physical shape necessary to actually use them when the time comes to save your life or preserve operational security. If you want to be able to successfully go gray, start now by being healthier in your day-to-day -day life. Eat better. Exercise. Do it every day till your breath is shaking and you're seeing different colors. With this particular mentality, discipline is the first among everything. So use physical fitness and health as your regimen to hold yourself accountable. If you can't take the pain of a workout, how can you take the pain of running away from your attackers or successfully evading anyone? If you can't take the discomfort of some cardio exercise, you won't be able to evade anyone no matter how many things you have. And ideally, you should be able to... You should be capable of a certain amount of physical defense no matter what tools you have because you've trained enough with your basic utilities that you can still hack it. No amount of articles or YouTube videos is going to prepare you for what's coming. No amount of tools will help you if you can't use them. No amount of gear will assist you if you get it taken away from you or don't have a chance to use it because you got overwhelmed quickly. If you want to lose before you even start, a good way to do that is to cripple yourself in terms of being a weak individual who thinks they're much stronger than they are. Always underestimate your strength. Never overestimate. Arrogance is a liability, so don't sabotage yourself. And let's be clear, your journey to becoming a gray man does not begin on Amazon. Your journey begins within and ends within. It's a mentality, and it's something you have to train, or you won't have it. This article will mean nothing to you if you weren't prepared and if you get overwhelmed. Additionally, don't just train for the most badass action hero movie you have in mind. Again, you're not Rambo. So train to walk lightly, main making minimal noise. Train to close doors and open windows quietly. Train parkour. Train everything you might need to survive in the environment in question. And remember that being a gray man is not about being the color gray. It's about blending in, which can be done in any variety of colored environments. And while you're training to blend in, use mindfulness and meditation techniques to learn to enhance your inner calm so that you can exist in an environment which is increasingly irritating while not sticking out. That's a section in this article. I hope people read it. I sincerely hope they do, but that's just a section in the article. Speaking of irritating, gotta love the pig squeal in the background. But the general mentality here that I wanted to talk about is the fitness mentality. Because people in the anarchist community, people in libertarian circles, hell, even people in a large amount of the prepper and threeper community, um, they're not in shape. They're not endurant. They think as long as they get enough guns and gear, they can just do everything. But you can't. You can't do an anything if, if, if they take you out immediately. You can't do anything if they outmaneuver you. You can't do anything if they sneak up on, uh, at night and you're, and you're ambushed. Uh, you can't do anything... If if they catch you in superior numbers and you can't successfully mount obstacles or find cover or do a variety of other things that are sort of necessary to not getting dead. And if you need to go gray, there's a strong possibility that you're kind of worried about that, which is why you're giving up your previous life. You're practically dying to who you were yeah, you're probably doing that because you're in a situation with some relatively nasty fuckers. So, maybe you should be physically trained. But, this isn't just about being a gray man in this video. That article's all about being a gray man, and I even missed some details, and I might write a sequel to that article about. Uh, let me know if you want the sequel. But generally speaking, this is about everything. This is all all the eggs right here because there are so many possibilities that don't even have to have you be gray that don't even have to have you in a revolution in in, in an, any sort of terrible situation you could have just interacted with the wrong cop 
on the wrong day or the wrong cop on any day who's always wrong, right? Uh, you could bump into some politician connections, family members or whatever, and, and, and piss them off and you could be on the run. You could not be involved in any sort of governmental politics at all and just sort of run into a bully. Or the politicians who don't think they're politicians, uh, gang members. Because gangs are governments. Governments are gangs. It's not even a square rectangle situation. They're the same. Um, so if you run into a gang, maybe you might need to be able to get the fuck away if for some reason they're irritated by your presence or something. You don't know. You don't know what the day holds. You don't know how long you're going to live. You don't know. But so many people, especially in this community, are overweight slobs who don't think that they need to improve. And I'm not talking about the ones who, you know, are overweight and trying to figure it out, trying to get healthy. Those people are doing an amazing job, and I hope they continue. I'm talking about the ones who think that as long as they get enough guns and gear, they'll be fine. Not just overweight either, just untrained. <laughs> Spindly little cunt who thinks that because he's carrying a rifle, uh, the fact that he's spindly isn't a liability. Plenty of those in some of these black block circles. Uh, plenty of those in some of these proud boy circles. Plenty of those in all these sort of <laughs> hardcore groups who are really only hardcore in number. Uh, and, you know, when they're individuals, when it's mano a mano, they got nothing and nothing. Because <laughs> they're not healthy. They're not fit. They're not ready for this shit. They're not here for that life. Every day, except one day a week, I work out anywhere from half an hour to an hour in the backyard. I don't need a gym, okay? You don't need a gym. Lack of a gym isn't an excuse. So because you don't have a lack of a gym as an excuse, the vast majority of people have door frames that they could hook a suspension trainer like the one I used to. The vast majority of people have access to stair steps of some sort or inclines of some sort that they could use for various angles. Um, the vast majority of people have access to an outdoor area that they could use to run, to walk, at least. Hike! Go for a light jog! Skip to the end of the street. Do some hopscotch in your driveway. Jump rope. There's shit you can do. And the fact that so many of these people who are super hardcore and super pissed at the state don't do this is a fucking problem. The fact that so many of them are keyboard warriors who are very good at <laughs> claiming that you're a snowflake but would melt in the heat of battle. Lots of those people are rife in this movement. Right? So, why? Why, if there's a good thing for you to do that would help you arm yourself against the powers that should not be, are you not doing it? If that's you, if that's not you, feel free to send it to somebody who is. If that's you, why aren't you doing it? Exercise will help you sleep. It will improve your mood. It will give you something to conquer every day that you know you can work. You know? It'll give you goals and a tangible increase in your life. It'll give you things that you didn't have before. And it'll generally improve your mental state. It'll help you form new neural connections. Um, if you eat better, you'll have better psychology on a more normal basis. 
Uh, if you're not carrying around all that weight, you'll get tired less, so you'll have more energy to fight these fuckers. I don't understand how this is so controversial, except for the fact that people don't like to be criticized. But I have gotten so much flack for simply calling people out on this, for simply telling them to get in shape and stop being fat. Yeah, I might not be the nicest person, but you know what's super not nice? Being oppressed. Having the state decide how you live. That is fucking rude as hell at the least, right? So even if I'm the biggest bastard on the planet, even if I suck so much ass just because I'm telling you to get healthy, just because I'm telling you that it's not okay to be the way you are, how bad is the state? And how bad do you really want to take it down? The state loves it when people aren't in shape. They love it when people eat poorly. They get a bunch of unhealthy people, very susceptible to disease, that they can engineer entire situations with and have a significant increase in power because of. They love you because you're easy to control. They've created an entire generation of slovenly media addicts, consumerist whores for the establishment, who will beg for crumbs and usually not get them because the state knows that they are too weak, too disempowered, too disarmed to fight back. You know, that's the reason, like, pencil necks like David Hogg are all about gun control. They can't defend themselves, and they were never interested in trying. Ever. So, instead of improving their ability to defend themselves in situations like this, instead of encouraging kids to be able to defend themselves, or at least effectively flee, and be healthy enough that they can get the fuck out of un unsafe situations, these people want legislation, because they want their people to have more power, and because they want those people to be their protectors. Well, buck up, son, because guess what? The cops aren't going to come in time. The vast majority of cases, they, they might not even come at all. The Supreme Court has regularly affirmed that they have no legal obligation to protect you. And that when they actively don't, they get qualified immunity and shit. They are not on your side, if that was any unclear. Right, statist and libertarian? You know this already. So why aren't you at least as fit as the piggy pigs, you insulty salt. And again, if you are, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to the people who are healthy, right? I'm talking to the people who are unhealthy and proud of it, or unhealthy and unwilling to change to a state they can be proud of. The state loves passive consumers. They love passive TV watching, couch laden, fucking sad sacks, with low emotional states due to eating the wrong stuff in high quantities and not exercising, not acting like a living being, but more like a, a fungus sample growing on something until it's eventually quelled. That's what they like. They want you to be passive tax cattle that they can continually extort and control and worm into shoots. They like that because it means that they have an easy job. If you don't like their job, make it fucking harder by being the strongest person you can be and having all the strength necessary to beat these fuckers down if they come and take it. So, with that being said, this is brought to you by OPSEC Drip. Pilar Petri sponsors the show. You can find his link right there. 
240 glorious pixels of Shemog-born libertarian content, and plenty of news. There's my link. Smash the state and be fit enough that you can make it real.